Good morning. Today's tip is about power of attorney versus durable power of attorney. Hi, it's me, Linda Burhan, the gal who cares for the caregivers with love, laughter, and lessons learned. Today, I have my friend, attorney Sean Scott with us to talk about the difference between power of attorney and durable power of attorney. So a lot of times clients ask me, what's the difference between a power of attorney and a durable power of attorney? It's actually pretty important. A regular power of attorney doesn't function after the client loses their ability to manage their affairs. A durable power of attorney actually has duration beyond that event. So it's pretty important. Most of the power of attorneys that you'll see today are all durable power of attorneys. I think in the last 32 years of practice, I've only seen one actual regular power of attorney come across my desk. So most all of them are durable. Sometimes we're just a little lazy and we drop the durable part in front of the word. So one of the big things with power of attorneys uh, is understanding what they actually do. So what I tell my clients is a power of attorney it essentially makes somebody into your clone or your duplicate. Sometimes I use the metaphor of a spare key. If you lose your key for your house or your car, the easy solution is to have a spare key. If you don't, that can be quite of a difficult problem to solve. Also, another analogy that I use, I think that really comes home to people, is that there's two seats in the front of every airplane. One seat's for the pilot, the other seat for the co-pilot. Every plane needs a co-pilot. If pilot can't fly, co-pilot can take over, the plane doesn't crash, and we can avert multiple types of disasters. Another big issue with power of attorneys is that not all of them are created equal. This may come to a, a somewhat of a surprise for people. Uh, you would think that a power of attorney is just like every other document. Here's the bad news. About 70% of the power of attorney documents that I review for my clients are fundamentally flawed flawed to the point where they could actually not do what they're supposed to do when the time comes. How the document's drafted, the actual words in the document and what they say are unbelievably important. Here's the deal. If the power of attorney document does not say that your person, your backup person, can do what needs to be done, they can't do it. If the document doesn't say that they can create a trust on your behalf, they can't. If we need to do that, and your person can't do it because the document doesn't say, that is a huge problem. There's multiple different things that are oftentimes missing from a power of attorney. I don't know how you're supposed to know what they are, but that's kind of my job. So if you haven't had your document reviewed in the last five years, I think it's very, very important that you have a competent uh, elder law attorney take a look at your power of attorney to see if it has all the provisions and words that it needs to have in it. Thanks, Sean. Your information is always so valuable. Tune in next week for another tip and have a delicious day.